Hello, folks. This is your old pal, Uncle Al. Uh, let's see. Uh, VR for uh, prepping by faith. She had a question. What's going to happen during the summer? <laughs> I'll only give you four because the rest of it you shouldn't know. No, no, no. And it's going to be a rough summer. Very rough summer, folks. And I tell people, grow a garden. Stockpile food before the truck stops or something else happens. Or we have a coup. Okay? I'm saying it this calmly and clearly because I just found out I got a Fritz Lang in my Tubi. A silent movie from 1919. Spiders. That's a two and a half hour movie, folks. All silent. But it's one of the best action movies ever produced it takes that long it combines all three raiders of the ark if anybody have saw this in original 75 this inspired all the the adventure movies that came after it it has everything pirates cowboys balloons flying saucers evil courts uh which curses Secret organization, and this was 1919, right after World War II, a uh, World War One. Sorry, I'm glad I has a little brain damage. So, like I said, it has all the film tropes in it. Okay, now uh, the rest of the VR for um, prepping by faith. Rough summer for east of the Mississippi. So if you're east coast and central. Anything east of the Mississippi, it's going to be real bad. On the west side, that's our usual problems. Okay, uh, east coast and central, from Chicago down to New Orleans, crime, riots, blackouts. Uh, number two, weather, heat waves, storms, winds, tornadoes, hurricanes. Oh, about the tornadoes, I think we're going to have about a thousand of them. And on the hurricanes, about 17. Firestorms. I do mean firestorms. That's usually the west, but also the east. Everything is burning. Okay? Hail. We're not talking about little hail, like little pea size. We're talking about goose egg size. And floods. I almost wrote Florida down. Okay? Number three, because of Captain Crazy's policies and the Green Revolution, this summer, you in some areas will not see butter, cheese, eggs, bacon, and milk at the same time. You go up to the counter or wherever you shop, there won't be any milk products. Okay? There won't be any bacon or ham products or sausage products. These will be all gone. All right, and that's only the good stuff. Oh, and number four, earthquakes and volcanoes, you will not believe. That's a lot, folks. Okay? I can't tell you the rest of it because it disturbs the timeline and you cannot know about it because most people watching my videos, um, they don't understand, so... I don't talk about it, and I still have to do the other part of this, the last five faces. Now, it will cause, we're finishing up the long winter, heading into the rough summer. This rough summer, if I'm right on the volcanoes, uh, we're going to have a dark winter. It's going to be dark, cold as hell. So if you think this winter was bad, Next winter is going to be worse. So I tell a lot of people, if you have time, all your time, either gardening or cutting firewood. Lots of firewood. How much firewood do we need, Uncle Alan? Twice as more than last year. Okay? People ask me, how much food do I really need? All right, I did whole, half a dozen videos over six years. YouTube erased 600 of them. Okay? 
I've been telling people this for four years straight. I am tired. So I'm going to show you the downbeat of this. Now, the basic four, pantry, refrigerator, freezer, bulk storage. Okay, that's the primary four. I keep telling people this over and over again. Nobody ever listens. So I'm tired. I'm going to quit doing this stuff. Okay, dry, pre-packed, and freeze-dried. You need 250 pounds. I did the math. I figured out the calorie count and everything. You have to be careful on this. That's why I put it down 250 pounds. This is one person for one year. Canned and jarred items, 200 pounds. Okay, I did the math. Frozen, 100 pounds. Fresh, a lot of people don't know how to store fresh food. Okay, it's 195 pounds. That's from your gardens, that's from your root cellars, or how you store it. Okay? I've been computing this for about 20 years. And then your bulk goods, if you don't know about bulk, and you don't have a storage unit, or a root cellar, or barn, it comes out 350 pounds. That total for one person, 1,095 pounds per per for one person. 1,095 pounds. For two people, it's 190 pounds. Okay? 2,190 uh, 2, pounds for two people. One year. Now, if you double that for two years, you'll figure it out. Okay? This is why I stress you grow a garden. Rip out the front lawn, rip out the backyard, grow a garden. A lot of you don't know how to do like Uncle Alan does. And a lot of you think, oh, I grow wheat and stuff like that. De heat, de heat, de heat. Don't kid yourself. All right? I did the math. I already experimented. I already did it. I'm retiring. It's all up to you folks. All right? Now, Right now, inflation is not as bad as before. It's 8.3. Food, water, all the basics are up. By June, it's going to jump again to 12%, which is bad. This Mexican candy I like to buy used to be 95 cents for five packages of this. Now it's $2. Next month, it's going to be about almost three bucks. Now, I do warn people, everything's delayed. You're going to have shortages. It's going to be a rough summer. And if I figure it out right, Yellowstone will not blow up like you think. I don't talk about it because people will freak out. It's going to vent. And vent heavily. So if you're on the east side of Yellowstone, that's central states and east coast, not too bad on Texas and Louisiana, but going that direction, because I'm following prevailing winds, it's going to be bad because it's going to vent either west or east. If it vents west, that's a lot of toxic gases. I'm going to Japan. If it vents east, you're going to get dust clouds. Okay? A lot of people, well, wear a gas mask against sulfur dioxide. Are you nuts? It's under pressure, so hopefully it just blows out steam. Steam, a little magma, and some dust. I watch a lot of volcano channels, a lot of weather channels. You know, it's going to be a rough summer. And then you people don't understand what a rough summer it is. A cold summer with bad weather. I mean, take a look at that. That's the good stuff. All right. This will be all written down below. This slips, sorry, this too. I'm going to try to do another one on a basic first aid kit. Please get your first aid kit from Doc Bones and Nurse Amy. Their book, book is still out on Amazon. Please pick it up. You want the latest edition. And there's two other books that you should get. And I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. 
Do something nice and good for your neighbors, family, or friends in church. I'll be seeing you folks. Remember, remain calm. Do not panic. And those people think, I'll bug out right now. Uh, I don't think so. You want to see seek shelter. Okay? A lot of people think, I could go out in the woods. The animal's are going to have a tough time. So you're wandering through a toxic wasteland and you're finding, I think I made a mistake. Yeah, and you're going to a town that people are going to shoot your butt. Night, folks. And think about it. Because Uncle Alan's retiring. I got five more videos I'm going to do. They're all numbered. Video five, four, three, two, one. And then I got to change format. No more prepping, no more bushcrafting, and no more weaponry. A lot of people don't want to hear it. Fine. Okay, it's the truth. Don't really care about what's going to happen. And remember, I've been saying this for the last six years. Please help. Trapped by stupids in the mental zombie apocalypse. See, DMC, RMC, CCP. Who gives $40 billion to Ukraine? Okay, that's both these idiots' fault. DMC and RNC. Okay? We need the $40 billion, and they're going to tax us. You know, uh, is it Jensen? Nancy Jensen or Janet Jensen? I can't remember. But they're going to tax us to hell. That's the bill for the pandemic. And they're going to tax us again for this undeclared war. So call your congressman, call your assemblyman, or do like Uncle Alan's going to do. I'm going to vote him out of office. I'm sick and tired of these boneheads running around, not listening to us. And if you have time, check out my channel. Okay? It's a lot better than what you see on TV with all the sucks and filth. And people wonder, how come you watch a silent movie, Uncle Alan? It has a better plot. And if they're not talking, I'm following the plot action. It's a lot better, folks, than most television. So don't forget, folks, we're finishing up the long winter. And we're in this rough summer. And we're heading for the dark winter. And this is our dark one. Okay? And then next year, we have a different summer. Hopefully... Everything will turn out okay. This is, let's see, 22, 23, nope, sorry, 24, 25, 26. It won't get better until 19, uh, 2026, okay? It's going to take that long. So I'll see you later. I'll be seeing you. Bye now.